Hello and welcome to my Twin Mothers Tips and Tricks video and specifically I want to share some tips on how to fight against Lanius without losing your Twin Mothers region and being forced back to paradise. First I want to start off with is the national spirits. We have some good and some bad. The nursery is a very nice one, gives some good bus to your nation and the best thing about it is that you can actually improve them over time by doing some focuses and decisions. Uh, the peace and love is absolutely terrible as it gives you some rather large buffs in anything involved with fighting and going up against Lanius. And the only way to actually get rid of it is via focus after you've defeated Lanius. The old nursery stockpile gives a slight debuff to production and research for robots, but it will automatically be removed August 2276, so it's not the worst. You do start with the followers of the apocalypse, so you don't have a choice of whether to let them in or kick them out of your nation. So you just have to make do with what they give you. For some interesting laws, the, the conscription law uh, sorry, the conscriptions law not only gives you bonuses to your population, so your creditable population, but also your monthly population, organization, and construction speed. As you increase the population, your creditable population, you then start to decrease everything else. So personally, I did not go above diners, auxiliaries. Um, with regards to events and decisions. There is an event chain that gives you war goals here in the north. Everyone I've spoken to says it is currently bugged and you do need to start to a manual war goal against like Circle Junction to actually kickstart it. Um, but once, once that started then it flows quite freely after that. You will get um, quite a few decisions that you will unlock via focus tree. I can just open it up quickly. Over here, that will do very nice increases to your manpower, your infrastructure, guns, and all that. Be warned that they do cost 20 political power each, so it can be quite expensive, but you do need to do at least 50 of them to unlock this part of your focus tree. Scavenging can be cool. Having a scavenging program can be quite useful, but it's not really essential. Uh, you're not playing a low tech nation where you're hoping to get plasma weaponry or something from a scavenge. Uh, you do get sophisticated tech, so it's, it's useful but not essential. The Voltec calling. You obviously need to get to these vaults to be able to take these decisions. And then we'll move, I'll move on to the intelligence agency. Very nice name and logos that they've made individual for Twin Mothers. The only thing I required it for was to bring down resistance. So that means you don't need to unlock it early. You can go without it. Uh, research. Research is your key. Taking on all these nations around you, having a tech advantage is what gives you the key. There is a unique, instead of uh, bliss equipment, these bows. However, I opted not to take them purely on the passive buffs that laser weaponry gives you are so much better. And when you're playing with that peace and love national spirit, you really do need every possible advantage you can get until you can get rid of them. For construction, I recommend building a series of one bunker and three outposts along these three little provinces here for your, for your defensive line. Once you've done that, you can then build arms and civilian factories until you have a comfortable production limit then I really recommend building power stations. You 
will have a very large robot army and they drain your energy cells faster than you could actually believe. As for production, early on, focus on guns. I'll explain later. As to re-equip re what you have, you won't be ready when Lanius comes. So initially you put everything on guns and then as you can increase first to support robots and then to have combat robots and then you can grow your industry as you normally want to. As for some template ideas, what I strongly recommend is in the beginning very simply going for a pure 20 width infantry division to just hold the line until you can get your production up and then you can start editing your templates until you can actually get one that for your late game will crush everything that stands in their way. As you might have noticed I also went with the power armor route, went pure demolitions for the breakthrough and I highly recommend it. And as for my overall impressions, uh, twin mothers, especially if you are aiming to fight against Lenius, is I believe more for the advanced players. I found it incredibly difficult uh, to hold this initial front line that you are given. And I strongly recommend sacrificing mystery caves, setting up that one bunker and three outposts along here, manning it with simple 20 with infantry and as you can see Lanius and the allies he does bring with him are merely standing and watching but not attacking and it gave me the chance to then start progressing north. Uh, one thing that I found incredibly helpful is the close air support and air supply with the air force because air support for various reasons going up against uh, many nations that have little or no air force themselves but also the infrastructure in this area of the wasteland is rather low so keeping your army supplied does become quite difficult and lastly and probably the biggest thing I would like people to take away from this video if anything is if you have played the Operation Sunburst as the Mojave chapter, think about the playing Twin Mothers just like that, except you do not get the freebie workshops and weapons and you have the terrible peace and love debuff. So think of it like that, but worse. And so that's it, my end of my tips and tricks video for the Twin Mothers. If there is any other information you would like me to put in these videos, please let me know. Otherwise, I can't wait to see you in my next video. Goodbye.